I ran uh, Recon with RT Colorado uh, with that basic makeup, Willie McLeod, Chuck Erickson, and myself for eight months. Uh, at some point during those eight months, I figured I had um, run my luck to its limit. I uh, also had looked up and seen the 01 aircraft buzzing around, telling us to run this way and run that way, uh, giving us good advice, good direction, but I'm saying, you know, that looks a lot better being up there than being down here. So um, I ran eight months, and then I requested to do something different, something else. And at that time, um, the photo lab job came up, running the photo lab. Uh, I was an NCO, and so they um, allowed me to do that. And with the photo lab at Contum did two primary functions, which was to develop the film that the teams brought back. These were taken with a half-frame pen double E Olympus camera and also to conduct uh, visual aerial photography uh, over the Ho Chi Minh Trail from the back seat of an O-1 aircraft or an O-2 aircraft. So I ran a photo lab uh, those two ways, uh, under those two um, um, functions. Um, it was great flying when we'd fly up at first light. It was absolutely beautiful. Vietnam was a beautiful country. Um, and then we'd fly across the border, and one of our missions, for example, would be to um, do a visual reconnaissance, a photo reconnaissance of an arc light strike, a B-52 strike, get pictures of the results of the strikes that took place at night. Um, so uh, I would take photographs from the back seat. We'd be pretty low, 50 feet or 100 feet. One of our functions was to take oblique photographs. You had the uh, Air Force uh, surveillance reconnaissance aircraft up high. Above them, you had the satellites. Generally, they were direct up and down. We could get much lower on the deck. We could look below the triple canopy jungle, uh, so we'd be able to uh, see and photograph. So I would, I would take pictures of things like blown apart bunkers, trails of people walking out of uh, bunkers that had been blown apart, um, any ammo dumps or buildings that might have been hit, things like that. I recognize the fact that the Vietnam War is still very controversial, that there's a lot of what I see as misinformation out there. Um, that it is the, my purpose of doing my book, supporting other people doing their books and other things, is to make this information available so that readers can form their own opinion. Not to convince anybody, but so that um, this generation and future generations has the uh, information to make their own decision as to what we were doing, why we were there and what we were doing there.